guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm doing some aquarium nails and i'm doing the water nail art design so i'm using my 3xl full covered square nail tips to do the aquarium nail so i'm just going to be finding my sizes which will be pretty easy since i always label my nail tips so i'm just going to do that off camera so now that I've picked out all of my sizes, I'm just going to show you guys how these nail tips are supposed to fit. So as you can see, it fits from side wall to side wall. Now I'm going to be using a marker just to mark off all of the nail tips just so that I could know where my aquarium tank is going to start. And I need to leave room for my nails. So when I apply the nail tip like this, I need to leave room for this piece of skin right here as well. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to apply the nail tip and just measure where I think the aquarium nail should start. Well, the aquarium tank should start. And then I just put a dot. Well, I put a dash, not a dot, because it's better like that. And as you can see, I do have space for my nail and that little piece of skin you're seeing there. So that is where my aquarium tank is going to start. So let me just do it on the thumb so you all can see again. It's so easy to do it on the thumb and the index nail. The rest of nails are kind of difficult. Not really difficult. I'm saying the wrong words. It's just not as easy, but it's not difficult. On the rest of the nails, I have to kind of guess where the aquarium tank is supposed to start. But the rest of the nails, I could actually see it and mark it for and mark it off one time. So this one is a bit too high, so I have to mark it off again. Much better. So I have to make this line longer, so I know it's this line. <laughs> so yeah. So now that all of my nail tips are marked off, I'm just gonna put this to the side for now. Then I'm gonna use this nail palette that I wrapped in some plastic well a ziploc bag and I'm also going to be using model one's rhinestone glue so I'm just going to apply the rhinestone glue to my nail palette then I'm just going to distribute this into a rectangle and this layer needs to be thin So I'll cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm just going to remove it from the nail palette. So I'm using a tweezer. I really don't like using it. This is the first time I think I'm using it on with this Ziploc bag. And I'm not a fan. I thought it would be easier, but it's not. It's so not can't even get to the bottom of I'm, I'm actually poking holes in this ziplock bag so it's not working the way I want it to okay so I guess I have to use it on this and there was a reason why I wasn't using it on this can't remember but I'm gonna use it oh I think it's oh it it tore right here so yeah that's why I wasn't using this anymore because this is what I am accustomed to using but I'm just going to use this side so I'll do the same thing cure it and I'll be back okay so I'm just going to remove it from the nail palette now do you guys see how easy that was look at that So yeah, this is how it's supposed to look, really thin and bendy. 
so I'm going to do the thumbnail and the middle nail on camera. Then I'll do the rest off camera because it is very repetitive. So I prefer to do the larger nail so that you all can actually see it. So let's go with the middle nail first. So firstly, I would just measure the gel. I don't know what to call this, but this with this just to get the width. An average I'm basically guesstimating because it wouldn't be like that so anyway then I cut this into a triangle so this is how it looks so I will just bend the tip like this Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. So I'm using my rhinestone glue and I'll just put a dot of the rhinestone glue where the marking is using my tweezer like this. I'm just going to place it right here. Then I would flash cure. So this is how it looks. So I measure it to my nail just to make sure that it still fits good and that my nail right here isn't touching or even if it's touching it's comfortable. So yeah it's not touching. Do you guys see like right there it's not touching. So this is still soft so I'm gonna just keep my thumb right under the base. And then I'm just going to fill up the space with my rhinestone glue. And flash cure. Then do the other side. Even though your thumb is underneath, your thumb is underneath to make sure that the base doesn't like go straight down here. However, it could go straight up, so you have to make sure and pat it, but make sure that it's even. So as you could see here, because this side was high up, so yeah, you just have to like pay attention, pay attention to those things. So I'll flash cure that section, then for added security to make sure that there isn't any leaks. There still might be leaks, but just to ensure that you did everything possible so that there isn't any leaks, I like to do the underside as well. Just a little bit, not too much. Because remember, my nail was really close to the base, so not much. It's just to ensure that it's leak-proof or as leak-proof as you could get it. So I would flash cure this and then I would cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds. So this is how they look now I'm just going to be cutting off the excess and I'm using this scissors right here just be careful when doing it because this is really stiff now like you cannot really move it else it would break so it's really stiff now so I'm just going to cut this off and yeah this is how it looks So I'm going to do that for all of the nails. Next, I'm going to file it just to remove that and just to get a straighter like nail, well a straighter, just to get it straighter. And when I do this, I make sure to file like this in this position so that most of the dust would like go on my desk. 
as opposed to the dust getting inside of the aquarium tank i'm trying my best not to get any dust or as or as little dust as possible inside of the aquarium tank so this is how it looks then i'm using a lint-free wipe a dry lint-free wipe and just removing whatever dust got inside of the aquarium tank i don't want to use any rubbing alcohol inside of the aquarium tank because when i used to apply the rubbing alcohol sometimes the nail would get so cloudy because it would develop this white cast inside of the nail which was very annoying so i use a lint-free wipe to dust off the excess so i'm going to do the same thing for the rest of nails so this is how it's looking guys so we are just going to put this to the side for a while then i'm going to be using this again so i'm going to be applying the rhinestone glue to this and i want a large area of the rhinestone glue on this nail palette actually before doing that let me make sure i know how large i want it so this looks decent enough and i want it from here yeah i guess this is good enough So I'm just going to be distributing the rhinestone glue all over this section. So now I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds. I'm going to be applying this gel polish that I got from Nail Reserve to this right here. And if you're interested in purchasing anything from Nail Reserve, I will have a link and a discount code in the description below. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying that to this jowl here i don't know what to call it but i'm going to be applying a few layers because probably two layers not a few i'm going to be applying like two layers to this right here So this is how the first layer look and it's really opaque on the first layer but I'm still going to apply a second layer and curing that one as well for 30 seconds. So this is what two layers is looking like. So now I'm going to be using this white gel polish also from Nail Reserve. They used to be called Nail Addict. So I'm going to be applying some of that to my nail palette and I'm also going to be using some gel top coat because i'm going to be making a milky white out of this so i'm just going to be applying some of the gel top coat and then i would mix it together to get my milky white i think this is good enough so i'm going to be applying that to this and before curing i'm going to be placing some dots with gel top coat so i'm just applying some gel top coat to the nail palette as well and i'm using this dotting tool and i really hope it works because this is such a large canvas to be doing the water nail art so i'm not sure how it's going to work but fingers crossed it works really good
Okay, so I didn't like how the bubbles were looking, so I just had to remove it. And I know, and since I'm doing a large canvas, I have to move a lot faster, and like the bubbles need to be a lot further apart. I was applying the bubbles way too close, so I think. I should know what I'm doing the second time around if not the third time I might know so let's do this again So I'll cure this for 30 seconds. So this is what it's looking like and I really hope this nail design comes out really good because in my mind it looks amazing but I don't think this looks really good. Like I'm, I'm not sure. Does this look like water nails? Does this look good? I'm really not seeing this looking good. I'm telling you guys now it's okay. I'm let's compare it to this. There are too much of white area showing. So I think I have to redo this. It's not giving <laughs> okay guys so i think i need to do them individually in order to get the results that i want so i'm thinking right here i'm gonna do it very long like the whole knee like this but the width of the thumb I really hope all of them could fit on this now because I have to do it a little wide. <sighs> Let's hope for the best, okay guys? So now I'm using the dotting tool and I dip it in top coat and just do this. I don't necessarily need to go straight up the nail. However, I'm not sure where I want the um the I can't think right now. Hold on. <laughs> so this looks okay. So I'll cure this for 30 seconds. So as I said before, I'm not sure where I want the nail tip to be. It could just be up here, I could put it, or down here. So that's why it's best to do the whole thing so that it looks like this. Yay! So it looks good. It looks good. Do you guys see it? Yeah. So I'm going to do the same thing for the rest. So I might only show one more.
So this is what it's looking like and I think it looks a lot better in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Did you prefer the first one or this one right here? Look at it comparison. So anyway, so yeah, this is how it looks. Now I'm going to be using some beach themed rhinestones on these right here. So I'm just going to figure out what I want to use on the nails and I'll be back. So these are what I want to use on the backing. So these would be stuck down to the back of my aquariums. So I'm just going to do this one and just see if I like it. First I'm just going to apply what I want. So I'll put this. And this I think I have some more of these things you know let me go check so I found some that I got from colorful July did I see the sea horses so yeah I have a few that I could use that would be stuck to the back of the nail because when it moves, it jumbles up and you don't see the beauty of it. I will have some moving too, but these would be stuck to the back of the aquarium. These are so pretty. I think I would use mostly the seahorses. If I see anything else I like, I might use it. So, I'm not sure, but I think this might be like a good placement, I think. Maybe I'll put this here and this here, because I want to make sure that you could see this. And I don't think I need this because just needed here because I think I'm going to do a French so it's not needed yeah so this might be good yay so I placed it a little lower because I don't really want that weird area so so I'm going to use this wait Okay, no, I'll use this. And I'm just gonna place the layer of rhinestone glue right here. Then I'm gonna put back. I think the layer needs to be a little thicker. I think this is okay so on this one I'm gonna apply the rhinestone glue I think I'll do two at a time, so I'll cure these. So let's see what it looks like. This looks good. 
also looks good. So the placement, the rhinestone placement is really good because I don't need nothing really down here since I'm going to be doing a French, I think, or maybe an ombre. Something I'm going to be doing down here. So yeah, this is good enough. So now I'm going to be using this again, I think, no, I'll use this and I'll just um, apply the the nail tip and flash your So I'll do the rest off camera and then cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds. So this is how it's looking so far. What do we think? Yay or nay? So I'm just going to be removing it from the nail palette. So then I'm going to be cutting them just to separate them now I have to file off all the excess so yeah I'm just gonna clean up everything and then yeah so my dust collector is really dusty i forgot to clean it but i can't do anything about it now it's night time i'm not going outside just to clean this so let's file this aquarium tank so i'm filing off all of this all of this and the bottom here and i like to use this sanding band to file this So I have some water in my dampen dish now and I'm just going to be cutting off the excess. I'm just leaving just a little bit. And the reason why I cut it diagonal is because when I'm filing I want it to be an easy file. I don't want, for example, this to be in the way. So that's why I cut it like this. So that will be easier to file. 
first let me file it some more I was gonna wipe off the nails but that doesn't make sense right now so I'm just filing it to get closer to the nail because I didn't want to do it with the e-file just in case I mess up this nail and I always make sure to place back the nails in the order that they are going to be on my nails just in case I don't want to mix up anything that's not supposed to be mixed up because I do have the same nail size for my ring nail and my index nail and I just like things in order so now I'm going to be using a lint-free wipe and some water and I'm just going to be cleaning all of the nails because there was a lot of dust when I was filing and I don't want to use rubbing alcohol because that can make the nail a little cloudy so I'm trying my best not to use it mostly the rubbing alcohol makes the inside of the nail cloudy not the outside but prevention is better than the cure so I just decided that I would use water because there was so much dust So now I'm using rubbing alcohol and I'm also using this clear poly gel so I'm going to be um filling up the spaces this one doesn't have any that's good this is how it looks by the way I think I need to file this off a little So, I'm not seeing any spaces. Okay, right here. So, for now, this is the only space on this nail. So, I'm just going to apply a tiny bead. and flash cure then I would cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds so I'm just going to be checking all of them so again right here so this one has a hole it's noticeable to me I don't think y'all could see it on camera right there and this big one right here so I think I got all of the holes in these aquarium tanks so I'm using some rubbing alcohol just remove the markings that I made and in order to be fully confident that I got all of the holes I am going to carry the aquarium tanks over running water and most times the water gets inside of the tank most times sometimes it's too powerful and it cannot get into this space here but most times it does happen so if the tank stays full I know it's full if the water decreases I know there is still a hole somewhere that I have to get so yeah i'm gonna do that and that would ensure that i get most of the dust as well inside of the aquarium so i'm just gonna place all of the tanks over running water individually of course okay guys so these three nails were leaking so i have to figure out where is the leak and try to get that hole before i apply any of the baby oil inside of these nails so i'll do that off camera and i'll be back so I think everything is good now and I did switch to using my rhinestone glue to cover the holes since the holes were very tiny I didn't want to use poly gel because poly gel is very thick so I preferred to use these to get the tiny holes so anyway I'm just gonna wipe off 
the excess water from the nails. I think I have to use some rubbing alcohol on the nails because it's very sticky. I'm just gonna wipe the sides. So I'm going to use baby oil as my liquid of choice to place inside of the aquarium tanks and I'm going to be using these gold caviar beads and these black and blue rhinestones. They are micro rhinestones I think it's called, I'm not sure. So I'm starting on the thumb, I'm just going to be placing about four of the large ones and then and some of these okay I'm a little nervous now why are they getting on like that? Let me put some liquid just I hope you're moving. You're better move. So I'm gonna put some of these. Then some more liquid. Then using some rubbing alcohol, I'm just dipping my Q-tip in rubbing alcohol and just cleaning this area. Then I'm using my Model One Clear Poly Gel, and I'm just going to cover up the hoop. So I'll flash cure this and then cure in my bigger nail lamp for 60 seconds. So this is how it looks. And I'm really nervous because I felt like the rhinestones, well the caviar beads were sticking to the sides. So I really hope that it moves. Fingers crossed. Let's pray. Jesus, please let this aquarium nail set turn out really good. And thanks for everything. Amen. So let's hope it's okay. One, two, three. Oh no. No. Okay. Okay. Oh. Thank God. It was, it had me worried a little bit, but they move. It's just that so many things in the way. Yeah, I see. It's not a smooth movement, but everything is moving. So I'm finished with all of the aquarium tanks. Now I'm using some rubbing alcohol just to remove the stickiness from all of the nails, but mainly the top here where I applied the poly gel because it's really sticky. Then I'm just going to be cutting off the excess. Then I'm going to be filing. So I'm going to be showing you guys on one nail.
So I got a little leak. I'm gonna use my rhinestone glue because it's not that big, it's just somewhere up here. And I will just cure this for 30 seconds. So I will file the rest off camera and I'll be back. So guys, this is how it's looking. So I'm using rubbing alcohol. Just to remove all of the dust. Then I'm just going to clean the nail palette, then place all of the aquarium tanks back on the nail palette and wait about a day or two. Could be less, but I'm not going to put on these nails for another day or two, so that's why I'm saying that, but it could be less, like a few hours. And just ensure that there isn't any leaking of the aquarium tanks. So if the aquarium tanks are leaking, you would see it on the nail palette. And you would know exactly where it's leaking because it doesn't leak that much, but you would see just a little spot here or whatever. So you would know where you have to um, fix it. So yeah, this is how the nails are looking. Let me hold it and move it. Do you guys see the bubble? When I put top coat on this, I really hope it looks like the ocean so yeah I'm just gonna leave it right here so this is how the nails are looking when I apply them and they look really good a lot of movement so I'm just going to be filing around the cuticle area just to remove any buildup of the gel Now I'm just going to buff the nails, then I'm going to top coat the nails because I want to see what the nails look like. You could go in with your nail art and then top coat, but I like to go in with top coat, then do the nail art and then top coat again, just because I want to see what the nails look like glossy, so that's why I do it, and because I like to have a glossy nail and do nail art on glossy nails i don't like doing nail art on nails that do not have any top coat or base coat on it because the nail art doesn't turn out right when there isn't any top coat mainly top coat base coat i don't really like using base coat under nail art i prefer to use top coat and then the nail art so i'm using model ones and i'm just going to be top coating all of the nails This looks so good. Let me lower the lighting. Do you guys see? Does it look like under the sea? Noise. So I'm going to do the rest and I would kill for 30 seconds.
so this is what it's looking like. And I did top coat on the side as well, just because. Ooh, I love this. So I'm going to be using this nude gel polish from Nail Reserve. And I'm going to be doing some French nails on the aquarium nails. So I cured the first layer for 30 seconds and now I'm going in for a second layer and I'll cure this as well for 30 seconds. So I'm going to be using these pearl rhinestones on the nails. So I'm using rhinestone glue as well and I'm just going to go around the smile line with the rhinestone glue. And then I'm going to apply the pearls to the nail. Then I would flash the oil for a few seconds. And then cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds. So this is how the nails are looking. So now I'm going to top coat all of the nails again. So I'll do that for all of the nails and cure for 30 seconds. So guys, this is the finished look and I really love how this nail set turned out. The aquarium nail set looks so good and I couldn't let this water nail art design pass without doing it with aquarium nails. Because I've been doing so many aquarium nails for the past year and a water nail trend comes and I do not do aquarium nails. That's crazy. So yeah, I think it looks really good. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.